Hey guys, Jeff from Show It here, and today I wanted to answer a question that we've been getting a lot lately. The question is about how to hide a Show It page. So, um, common uses for this would be maybe you're close to launch, your blog's not quite ready, you wanna add some more content for that before going live. Um, so this would be one way. Another use case would be maybe if you have some sort of uh, limited time offer and then you wanna hide that page away, so to speak, this is what you can do. So specifically with the blog, what I would suggest is um, you either want to remove your blog options from anywhere it's linked in your site. So I could use our toggle switches and just take that off for now and add it back when the time comes that it's ready to be linked. Alternatively, what I could do is I could create um, uh, just kind of a coming soon page here. Um, so let's just go to this test page and we'll just type coming soon on here. Obviously you would make it much prettier than this but you get the idea. So we can make a coming soon page or check back later for the full blog or what have you. And then we can link that blog option to what is being called test. We would probably name it blog coming soon or something like that. But we just change the click action here to the test page. And then once the blog is launched and we're ready, we would just change it back to blog and publish. So uh, that would be one option there if you're trying to say hide away the blog. Now, if you're trying to hide away an entire page, you can't exactly hide it per se, but if it's not linked, again, within the main site, uh, that's gonna be the first step, is making sure it doesn't link from your main site to that page. So let's say, again, let's use this test page. Let's say I wanted to hide this content with the page itself selected, not a canvas on the page. I can come over here to our advanced settings, uh, and there's this little checkbox here that asks Google to ignore this page. So essentially, when you check this box, what's going to happen is Google's going to ignore the page and it won't index it. So it's not going to essentially associate this page with all of your other site content. So if I'm just Googling around, um, looking at your site through search results and things of that nature, Google is not going to show this page as a result associated with your site. So if you did have some um, limited time offer and then you pulled that, you could check this page and republish. Uh, again, make sure it's not linked anywhere. And then you could use this page again when the time comes if you want to. You would just want to uncheck this box, uh, republish, and then you would probably want to ask Google to recrawl your site just so they know that this page is now um, no longer being ignored. You can just Google how to have Google recrawl your site and you'll find instructions for that, but that would be a helpful step if you've unchecked this box and republished. So that is essentially how you would hide a page and show it, um, whether you're trying to keep the blog under wraps while you get some things finished there, or if you're trying to hide a page entirely, uh, that would be how you do it. So I hope this video has been helpful as you continue to build and launch your brand new site.